For the most part, 2015 has come and gone. We have a little bit less than one month left for 2015 to be over with, and we're gonna be ringing in the new year, partying and having a good time. Well, what a great year it was for video games. We've had a lot of classics, made new experiences, a lot of fun, and now you're getting ready to have Christmas real soon, and you're gonna be opening lots of presents and new video games, and video games that have came out throughout this year. Now, I have comprised a top five list of my top five favorite games of 2015. Some of the choices I have made will really, really surprise you, and some will be no-brainers as to what is our favorite games of 2015. Now, when I did this list, I had to think long and hard. I had to write down a whole lot of ideas of why I thought a game was actually one of my favorites for 2015. Now, in choosing the game of 2015, I had to think of quite a few things. Storytelling, gameplay, innovation, and innovativeness, and also what I just really liked, plain and simple, and what I'm looking forward to more of for 2016 and beyond. So here we are, our 2015 top five favorite games. Like if you agree, comment if you have something else that you would like to add as your top five favorite. Number five, Ori and the Blind Forest. This game made me cry, seriously. There are a lot of games that play like Ori, but none of them look like it. Gorgeously animated with a cold open that takes its time and gently breaks your heart like a good Pixar film, Ori elevates its familiar Metroidvania style running, jumping, and exploring with its masterful and artistic presentation. Akin to an animated masterpiece you can play through, Ori is moving and fun at the same time. You will find yourself loving the beautiful soundtrack as well as fighting back the tears while playing this beautiful masterpiece. Number 4, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This game is fucking massive. Vastness is considered a virtue of mainstream video games. Making that vastness meaningful, however, is often less of a concern. Offering the rare combination of quantity and quality and a staggering excess of both is The Witcher 3, a mature fantasy role-playing game with an appropriately sweeping narrative set in a world full of small things equally worth your time and attention. The Witcher 3 will capture your mind, heart, and life for that matter when you delve deep into its compelling storyline and gameplay. It is no wonder why this game and developer Project Red won multiple awards including Game of the Year and Developer of the Year at the Video Game Awards 2000. 2015. Number 3, Disney Infinity 3.0. Welcome to Star Wars, young Jedi. Disney Infinity 3.0 not only expands its infinite toy box, but expands its whole roster and character universe. Everything that you may have hated from previous versions of this ever-expanding Toys to Life game has been greatly improved upon, adding new gameplay experiences, fun new toy boxes, toy box games, playsets, and online features that continually just get better with time. With Disney Originals, Marvel, and Star Wars franchises, it seems this game can do no wrong. The only reason I did not rank this game higher on my list is its pricing point. Although it's fun to collect them all, the whole rhetoric becomes tiresome and costs a lot of money. For the hardcore collector or fan, this is a no-brainer, but for those wanting the full experience, your money can be spent on better things. Number 2. Five Nights at Freddy's 4. Like if you agree, Scott Cawthon is the king of horror games 2015. Five Nights at Freddy's 4 is the last chapter of the Five Nights at Freddy's original story. You must once again defend yourself against Freddy Fazbear, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy, and even worse things that lurk in the shadows and jump scare the hell out of you. Playing as a child whose role is yet unknown, you must safeguard yourself until 6am by watching the doors, as well as warding off unwanted creatures that may venture into your closet or onto the bed behind you. Most importantly is the mystery and lore that surrounds the game in its Five Nights at Freddy's series. The further you look for answers, the more theories you will have. I suggest you do it yourself. Search FNAF Theory on your internet browser and you will get a wide range of theories, some far-fetched and some right on point. With a full-blown book scheduled for release on December 22, 2015, a movie in the works, and another video game, there is still much more mystery, lore, scares, and fun to be expected well into 2016 and beyond. Number 1. Life is Strange 
Life is Strange is a fresh new breath of air for video games. It is a game about decisions, not action. Released in five episodes throughout the year, you find yourself playing as Maxine Clawfield, an aspiring photographer at a boarding school who one day discovers that she has the power to rewind time. With the ability to rewind time, you quickly spiral to cause and effect events based on the choices you make as a player. Choices that are really important, especially when it comes to getting to know the characters. Although there are times that the game and storytelling gives you a what the fuck moment, if you play through it however you will find that the game is absolutely mind blowing and the game of 2015 that you soon won't forget. So there you have it friends, our top 5 favorite games of 2015. What games was it that we chose that completely surprised you? How would you make this list differently? I want you guys to leave in the comments down below what your top 5 favorite games were of 2015 and why. What games would you like to see made in 2016? Is there a certain series that you would like to see continued on or improved upon? Is there, is there a game that you would like to not see ever made again? What do you think about Toys to Life? What's your thoughts and opinions on it? I want to know. Leave it in the comments down below and we will get back with you as soon as we can. Thank you for watching and have a great day. See you all in the next video.